What's up, everyone? It's JP. I'm with my makeup artist, Caroline, and we are in Los Angeles. And today I'm getting ready for the Elton John AIDS Foundation Academy Award viewing party. It's the 30th anniversary of the event. So it is Oscar day. I'm with my glam team. All right, so this is the final piece of my Oscar gown. This is the final piece. This is from Narciss, Canadian designer. Now on my way to the venue. Woo, it's showtime. See you guys later. How does it feel to be back on this carpet? It feels great to be back. We really miss being away. Um, unfortunately, HIV AIDS didn't take a lockdown like the rest of the world, um, and it made it harder for people to get access to their medicines and to testing and treatment, and so we have some ground to recover. I feel like it's important um, to set a precedent. When we have the power to do something like that, when we have the platform, um, I feel like it's a responsibility. Hello, I'm JP from Toronto, the kit in Toronto. Hello. How are you feeling this evening? I'm feeling glamorous, happy to be out, and also raising funds for an amazing uh, organization. Well, I mean, it feels very good to be here and not in Canada right now because it's cold. Amen. But um, it feels great. Like, no one's been out in so long, and to be here and support a good cause at the same time, have fun. In 2020, my castmates and I were the host of the event. Yes, and so I know. tonight, it'll be nice just to have as many glasses of champagne as I'd like. <laughs> well, I feel so excited and happy and proud to be a part of such a special night. 30 years of raising, you know, an enormous amount of money for such an important cause and bringing all these incredibly talented people together and just fun and just excited to celebrate. What does tonight mean to you? Well, it's just such an amazing cause and, um, and a hugely important cause, obviously. And it's just about getting people the help that they need to destigmatize this condition and, you know, like save lives. That's just the bottom line, really. I want you to both tell me, tonight's a big night. I decided finally to come out to an event as myself in my full authenticity. First time wearing a, a, a train that I've always wanted to wear, makeup as I am. You've inspired me as well. How do you feel um, with what you chose to wear? Where did the inspiration for both of your looks come tonight? Well, I mean, we're always trying to decide who's going to wear the suit and who's going to wear yeah. the suit. Yeah, we are. And we always we usually wind up both wearing a suit. <laughs> you look fantastic. So what, what did you guys, uh, how did you pick your outfits for the event? I actually coordinated to her dress, actually. Yeah? So yeah, she had, a nice, she had a nice thing going on, so I decided to make it work. Well, I, I was, I was going to go more what you're doing, <laughs> and then I thought, I'm not going to compete with Billy, Billy Porter, so... I'll... You know, I'm wearing a Reem Accra, and uh, she's just such an incredible designer. And uh, I'm just, I was so excited when I saw this dress because it looks like the Oscar. What are you wearing this evening? Carolina Harada. Yes, tens across the board, darling. Thank what you. are you most looking forward to tonight with the Elton John AIDS Foundation event? Just seeing all your friends. It's like this yearly thing where you see everybody all in the same place at once and it's all, it's very friendly. Hi, I'm David Furnish. I'm Brandi Carlisle. Hi, this is Garcelle Beauvais from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. This is Eric and Janet McCormack, and you are watching The Kit. And this is The Kit. This is The Kit. That is a wrap on the Elton John AIDS Foundation 30th anniversary. Thank you so much for hanging with me. I had such an incredible time. My first ever train and skirt by a Narciss Canadian designer. I'm so excited. Had an amazing time. Thank you all for watching.